Hey everybody, welcome back. Look, already doing the white base version of these. So this is actually gonna be a little bit quicker. Uh, this is part two of this type of series. I'm using all the same colors, all the same, uh, exact same order, shall I say. I mean, if you really wanna call it an order, but so it should be uh, Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations, followed by TLP, King of Pain. Um, past that if I remember correctly it is interference colors so it's like TLP glistening TLP velvet and golden violet and then I top it off with a golden turquoise phalo type float acrylic so it's kind of a you know I put so many drops into I got the color I really wanted it to be so past that then I put my cell activator or yeah cell activators on top and right here, I'm, I left this right here just because, um, you know, you blow out the cell activator, you have some puddles with it, and, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't always get the greatest blowout on these. So what I'm doing is I'm blowing out the, the rings, and hopefully when I spin it out, you know, it won't be as bad. And right now, I left this part, you know, tilting it, trying to get it back to center for the most part, and also you can kind of see some of that interference paint sh shimmering um what i want to do is i i kind of want to get most of that to the center what i took out here is i used my tool and put some paint that had bled off on the corners just a little bit and yeah that one's done on to number two so again like i said this is part two uh, actually you know you know with interference colors, they can show up in terms of, you know, on the black base a lot better than the white base, but it also depends on the colors you're using. Because, I mean, with that Payne's Gray being the bottom color and blowing it out, it, they should show up. But the thing is, is with the white base, all these paints are going to dry just a little bit lighter in terms of, like, the turquoise and the Payne's Gray, you know, because it has that white undertone as opposed to the black set that I did. But, I mean, I absolutely love the black set, but, you know, that's only going to be so, as good as the lighting that's around it. You know what I mean? So, if you're in a dark house or something like that, you you may not want the darker coasters, only because you'd rather it be lighter. At least that's how my brain is working. And, again, just showing you the blowout, trying to blow these little rings out so where it's... I know typically some people can, uh, they'll go in and do some lines and stuff. And, you, you know, I've done it before too, but I didn't want to do that on these. So this is what I'm forced to do. So again, after huff and puff all the way around it and see, you can see the interference. I can see the blue and the violet really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and blow this one or not blow it, but spin it out. Um, so yeah, this is probably one of my one of the favorite ones of this one, I believe. Um, just trying to get a little bit off. We're done. See, see how quick this is. I'm trying to speed this up for you because I know it's pretty much all the same colors except for the base. Um, so, again, hope everybody's been doing good. Everything's been good here. Christmas breaks coming up here soon. Lots of kiddo things to do you know got to go look at lights got to do parades got to do all sorts of stuff speaking of parades have one tonight so yeah it's very very busy um sadly no snowmageddon snowmageddon again sorry it's just a texas term because you know last year it was what most of you know people around here would say it was terrible just having snow for a whole week, you know, I enjoyed it. I had ski gear, so you know what? I was out in it playing. So, you know, it is what it is. Here's another blowout. I think this is the best part. It's just seeing the cells get created and just see what you get. And right here, I'm, that vein, I guess, I'm going to call it a vein, a cell activator, you know, I didn't get any cells. So I'm just trying to blow slightly on it to get a couple more cells to pop in there and then you know the cell activator will actually sink around them and it, it will look normal at least you hope it looks normal right again here's some more cell activator just slightly blowing on it 
trying not to mess anything up. Um, again, that's after I went all the way around it, blowing on it, and you know, trying to smush it. I mean, look at the interference paints on that. It looks great. Popping a bubble before I spin it out. Um, uh, you know, I don't, if you've used tiles before, that I mean, if you get a bubble on the side, it can really, once you're done, you know, and, and you never popped it, it can mess up the, the edge. So just be mindful for bubbles. Um, and as somebody pointed out or said, uh, yes, I got a new box. I'm telling you, I needed a new box to put my spinner in because it was, my paint was moving and you know it was uneven and everything like that and I was at work and I was opening up computer boxes and I was like wait a minute this will work great for another box so you know that is it this is the box so yeah um you know I probably could do a little bit better in terms of you know, putting a trash bag or something in there that way I don't have to change boxes but I get enough computer boxes at work so I will just use those. Um, but anything bigger, I do have a was a dog bath thing, whatever you want to call it, that I can switch out. Um, this one, you know, I wish I got a better blowout right here on this, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to work the cell activator a little bit to get a couple more cells, and hopefully everything comes out just as good as the other ones you know funny enough it, I know I've already said it but I, I just for me if I don't use some type of interference color or some type of pigment on these like which you can see right there I'm just not happy with it it doesn't it doesn't I don't know it doesn't speak out too much so it was all just two paints that are just dull for lack of a better word I wouldn't be happy with it and I mean that's just because I've gotten so used to seeing the the shimmer and the, the changing of colors with the interference so yeah that's that's a bit of a bummer right to a degree um, but you know this one's pretty much done the sad part is you know gotta put epoxy on these now so here you go here's a close-up of them I mean I'm really happy that okay that one's my favorite yes that one's my favorite love that one love all of them but anyway thank you for watching I want, if you haven't already please subscribe and just have a good day thank you for watching again take care